Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As we begin our ceremony, please join us in singing the national anthem and then remain standing for the invocation, which will be delivered by Father Abraham Valadiel from St. Catherine of Alexandria Church in Blovelt. Our leader of song, Jillian Biangi, is a member of today's graduating class earning her Bachelor of Arts degree in English with certification in childhood education and students with disabilities. I would like to uh, begin this invocation wishing you all the graduates success in your life. And then the question, what is success? Alexander Woolcott, one of the most famous alumni of Hamilton College, New York, was asked to give a major address at the college's centennial celebration. Woolcott gave a memorable speech which began with these words. I send my greetings today to all my fellow alumni of Hamilton College scattered all over the world. Some of you are successes and some of you are failures. Only God knows which are which. This is a wonderful reminder to us that in our measurement of success and failure, God's thoughts are not our thoughts, nor our ways, God's ways. Remember, you are what you are before God, nothing more, nothing less. So be what you are and be at its best. So we pray. Close your eyes, bow your heads, we are in the presence of Almighty God. Gracious and compassionate God, we bless you and are filled with gratitude for the numerous gifts, the countless blessings that come to us from you. Your blessings come in times of joy, in times of victory, in success and honor, and they come as well in times of pain and sorrow, in sickness and defeat. We find joy in celebrations, in holidays and vacations, in our work and in school as well. We thank you, Lord, of gifts for friendship, family and fun, in winning and in losing, in being last as well as first, we take a relish in the challenges and adventures of life. Your blessings, however, come always as life. We thank you today, especially for the lives of these graduates. Bless them, their proud parents, grandparents, their houses, their children, and all their friends and relatives. We know that these graduates are proud of Dominican College, Blauvelt, their alma mater. May she also become proud of you by promoting her mission of educational excellence, leadership, and service in an environment 
characterized by respect for the individual and concern for the community and its needs. As these graduate students reach the culmination of their learning in St. Dominic and prepare to depart, we pause in awe at the prospect before them. New careers and fresh life ventures all await. Yet in the face of exciting possibilities, keep them mindful of their responsibility to live more than just for themselves, to stand for what is just and right. Loving God and Father, with the degrees and honors being bestowed on these your children, confer on, confer on them your grace and blessing. May they make this world a better place to live. Bless them with patience as they explore new horizons. Bless them with the humility in the face of success and abundance. Bless them with the compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Bless them with the gratitude for friends, mentors, and family who have supported them through this journey. And bless all of us, family, faculty, friends, and supporters, as we share in the joy of their accomplishments. Our God bless this afternoon, this commencement celebration, and may you guide, you guide these graduates and all of us as your people along the paths of peace, true righteousness, and grace. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce at this time the president of Dominican College, Sister Mary Eileen O'Brien. Trustees, honored guests, faculty, family, friends, and most especially the graduates of the class of 60 of 2018, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to Dominican 64th commencement in this its 66th year of existence. <laughs> Graduates, as you cross the stage in a few moments to receive your diplomas, we trust that you will do so with a sense of pride in your accomplishments. You have worked hard, balancing many responsibilities to realize this significant goal. Stay in touch with the people who have and the ideals you've encountered here at the college. Be proud of the alma mater. We are proud of you. And remember, once a charger, always a charger. Dominican ultimately measures its value by the generosity, the vision, and the compassion involvement of its 14,500 students, graduates. How greatly the world needs your compassion and joy. The noted Jesuit geologist and mystic, Teilhard de Chardin, would have us all broaden our perspectives and embrace a more global vision. His words, the powers we have released could not possibly be absorbed by the narrow system or even national union. The age of the nation has passed, and now, unless you wish to perish, you must shake off old prejudice and rebuild the face of the earth. Do not let prejudice stifle you, but rather be willing to cooperate, even compromise when possible, so that the common good, the well-being of all, might be realized. Today's problems cannot be solved by yesterday's man mindsets. We must see our world through fresh and new and hopeful lenses. Graduates, we trust that your vision has broadened. We pray that you will be people marked by competence, formed by conscience, and softened by compassion. May you and all of your endeavors bring you personal satisfaction, enhance the rights of others, and protect the gifts of our earth. You graduate from a Dominican college 
one of 15 such colleges across the United States, which means that you must share with others the richness you have received. Dominic Guzman, the founder of the order, would remind us, grain that is hoarded rots, but that which is scattered flourishes. An early disciple of Dominic's, Thomas Aquinas, would write, it is good to be light, but better to enlighten. It is good to contemplate, but better to share with others the fruits of your contemplation. Much is expected of a Dominican graduate. You graduate on the 50th anniversary of the deaths of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy, men who acted on their conviction that every human being was to be valued and all peoples are worthy of respect. Both were involved in the civil rights movement, both res respected one another, and are jointly honored at several locations across our nation. We pray that your endeavors, like theirs, will lead to personal growth, meaningful work, and in the process, enhance the rights of others. How blessed we are by the achievements of our graduates, 572 strong, the largest class in the college's history. We are grateful for the presence on the dais of our honored guests, each of whom personifies a commitment to reflective understanding and compassionate involvement. Wendy St. Felix, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Tom Zugaby, Rockland County District Attorney. Judy Kaiden, President of St. Dominic's Family Services. And Tom Rinaldi, renowned ESPN correspondent. On behalf of the class of 2018, allow me to thank all those who have aided your accomplishment. The parents, grandparents, spouses, children, faculty and friends. Without their assistance, this would not be possible. As we know, no one goes through life unaided. Each of us must be enlightened by the spirit of a compassionate God, the support of those we love, and those who need us. No one has it all together, but together we have it all. And so we pray as you go forward, be gentle with yourselves and nonviolent in your dealings with others. Always take time to appreciate beauty and explore new possibilities. Strive to appreciate differences and to recognize connections, for we will all be able to take next positive steps only if we walk together. As you move forward, do so with confidence and carry with you the words spoken to Joshua. Be strong and steadfast. Do not fear, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Congratulations, blessings on you and yours. Each year, in addition to the degrees and honors conferred upon its own graduating students, the college takes pleasure in presenting awards and honorary degrees to individuals whose lives and work have been characterized by qualities and commitments and types of achievements that the college wishes for all of its graduates. We begin the presentations today with a memorial award that is in keeping with the sense of promise that we feel at a commencement. It is presented in memory of Nicholas Badami, a young man whose sudden death ended a successful life and a promising future. And it honors graduates of Dominican College who in their lives have brought their promise to rich fulfillment. The reading of the citation for this year's Badami Outstanding Alumna Award will be presented by Dr. Joan Purcell, MD, of the college's board of trustees. And the honor will be then conferred by the president. The full text of all the award and degree citations are given in your program.
Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations. Quote, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward, unquote. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Wendy St. Felix is a strong, determined woman, always moving forward, no matter what challenges she encounters. Wendy earned three nursing degrees at Dominican College while working full-time and raising a family. Last year, she was among the first seven graduates of Dominican's new Doctor of Nursing Practice program. Today, 1,200 elementary school students at PS85 in the Bronx depend on Dr. Wendy for their primary health care. For the past two years, Wendy has worked as a family nurse practitioner at the Montefiore School Health Program, where she is determined to make a difference by treating underserved children. Wendy provides critical care for these children, conducting well care visits, giving vaccinations, prescribing medications, and treating chronic conditions. She also stresses preventative care and teaches the children about the importance of good nutrition. Ever since she was a young child, Wendy dreamed of becoming a nurse. She began her journey at Dominican while she was working full-time as a registered nurse and was married with two young children. Soon after, her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter was diagnosed with a bone growth disorder. Wendy considered dropping out of the program, but persevered. She earned her BSN in 2011 and then FMP in 2013. Wendy was determined to earn a terminal degree and was accepted into the first class of the doctoral nursing program at Dominican. She studied while fulfilling her new responsibilities at Montefiore Medical Center. In 2017, Wendy was selected to address her fellow graduates at their hooding ceremony. In recognition of her commitment to helping improve the health care of underserved children, her perseverance to further her education, and her devotion to the nursing profession, Dominican College is proud to present Wendy St. Felix with the 2018 Badami Outstanding Alumna Award. Congratulations. We continue the presentations today with the conferral of the Veritas Medal. Veritas, truth, is the motto of Dominican College and also its aim, particularly as the pursuit of truth contributes to the understanding and meeting of human needs. The college honors outstanding contributions of this kind and recognizes them through the presentation of this medal. The citation accompanying the conferral will be presented by Mr. John Dillon, Esquire, member of the college's Board of Trustees, and the medal will be conferred by the President. Good afternoon, Class of 2018, family members, and distinguished guests. Class of 2018, we are so proud of you, and we are blessed by and better as a college because of each of you. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Thomas Patrick Zugaby has blazed many trails throughout his 38 years of experience in the New York State legal system and since 2007 as district attorney of Rockland County. Tom identified problems that plagued his community and worked tirelessly to find creative solutions to affect change. Guided by his faith, passion, integrity, and professional ethics, Tom implemented an intelligence-led approach to public safety through proactive policies such as community policing, community prosecution,
and community partnership that have made his office a leader among district attorney's offices. His untiring diligence has resulted in a 96% conviction rate, which regularly surpasses the statewide average. Tom has implemented major innovate, innovative prevention and diversion programs for youth and people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Under his leadership, the Spirit of Rockland Special Victim Center officially opened in 2011. The 3,000 square foot facility made possible by the generosity of local businesses, labor organizations, and private citizens houses the proper care and support to special victims in one secure location. Tom has forged alliances with many community agencies and organizations and has received many awards that recognizes his collaborative spirit. He earned the New York State Bar Association Prosecutor of the Year Award the Center for Safety and Changes Distinguished Citizens Award, and the Legal Aid Society Champion of Justice Award. Perhaps one of his proudest moments was when his community prosecution model received the National Association of Prosecutor Attorneys Innovative Community Engagement Award. As a judge and district attorney, Tom sought to use the legal system as a vehicle to engage his prosecutors empower the community of Rockland County, and preserve the constitutional rights of all. In recognition of his commitment to the justice system, along with his ongoing courageous leadership, Dominican College is proud to present Thomas P. Zugaby with a 2018 Veritas Medal. We turn now to this year's special honorary degrees, celebrating this day the lives and work of two individuals who have made a difference in the lives of others. We will have the pleasure of conferring first an honorary degree, Doctor of Humanities, on Judith Kaiden, and then an honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, on our commencement speaker, Mr. Tom Rinaldi. The citation for Judith Kaiden will be presented by Sister Mary Flood, OP, MD of the College's Board of Trustees, after which the degree will be conferred by the President, Sister Mary Arlene. Mother Teresa of Calcutta once said, love cannot remain by itself, it has no meaning. Love has to be put into action, and that action is service. Love expressed in service rightly defines the generous trajectory of the life and career of Judith Kaiden. President and CEO of St. Dominic's Family Services, she has dedicated her entire career to helping others. A longtime advocate for individuals with developmental disabilities, mental illness, substance abuse, and children and youth who are abused and neglected, her leadership at St. Dominic's enables a staff of over 800 to serve more than 2,000 individuals with a wide range of disabilities. Having begun her career as an art teacher, in the K-12 school operated by the agency, Judith served in various leadership positions throughout the agency, where she created a number of new programs and services. Chief among these was the establishment of the agency's Developmental Disabilities Department at the beginning of the New York State deinstitutionalization movement. During her 13 years as executive director, she has faced critical periods of financial as well as programmatic disruption as new needs were identified and services realigned. 
Yet her dedication and persistence enabled the agency to maintain its stability and faithfully address the needs of those served. Described as an inspirational leader by those who have worked with her, Judith has contributed a unique combination of vision, fairness, and understanding to her work of empowering others and leading an organization that has served those in need for over 140 years and is one of the oldest continuously operating enterprises in Rockland County. For her incredibly generous undertaking and deep dedication to the founding work of the Dominican Sisters of Blauvelt and for her successful leadership and her commitment to the needs of those served by St. Dominic's Family Services, Dominican College is honored to confer upon Judith Kaiden the degree of Doctor of Humanities Honora Causa. For the second honorary degree to be awarded, Dominican College extends the honor and does itself the honor of including among its degree recipients, Tom Rinaldi. The citation accompanying the degree will be presented by Mr. Jim Tulin, member of Dominican College's Board of Trustees. The degree will be conferred by the president and we will then have the opportunity to hear from Mr. Rinaldi in his commencement address. From the Dominican College Class of 1985, I welcome you here and congratulate the Class of 2018. A quote from R.J. Palacio. Courage, kindness, friendship, character. These are qualities that define us as human beings and propel us on occasion to greatness. One of the most respected sports journalists in America, Tom Rinaldi has won 12 National Sports Emmy Awards and six National Edward R. Murrow Awards. As a correspondent for ESPN since 2002, he contributes to a wide variety of programs at the network and for its parent company, ABC. He is a weekly contributor to College Game Day, serves as a sideline reporter for the NBA playoffs and some of college football's biggest games, and has conducted one-on-one -on -one interviews with the biggest names across all of sports, including Tiger Woods, Derek Jeter, and Serena Williams. A native of Brooklyn, New York, Mr. Rinaldi earned his bachelor's degree in English from the University of Pennsylvania, and a master's degree from the Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism. His first job out of college was an English teacher, first in Pittsburgh and then in the South Bronx. He says that his time in the Bronx exposed him to a wide range of new experiences and provided greater awareness about the different cultures of America. Besides his work in front of the camera, Mr. Rinaldi has written articles for ESPN's magazine and website. As an author and a journalist, his favorite stories to tell are human interest stories, stories of unsung heroes and underdogs. Mr. Rinaldi earned a Sports Emmy Award in 2012 for his piece, The Man Behind the Red Bandana, which detailed the heroism on September 11th of Nyack, New York native and Boston College athlete, Wells Crowder, the posthumous recipient of Dominican College's 2016 Veritas Medal. Let's hear for Wells Crowder. <laughs> this piece for which Mr. Rinaldi received his Sports Emmy Award 
evolved into Mr. Rinaldi's 2016 New York Times best-selling book, The Red Bandana, A Life, A Choice, A Legacy. In this book, he asks us all to contemplate our answer to these questions. Quote, what would you do in the last hour of your life? Where would you be? What would it look like? And who would remember it? Close quote. In an interview, Mr. Rinaldi said, quote, for as many stories as we have the opportunity to tell, some stories simply never leave you. And even more than that, some of the people at the center of those stories never leave your life. It is with profound respect for Tom Rinaldi's drive to ensure that the stories of heroes from all walks of life are recognized, told, and celebrated that Dominican College is honored to bestow on him the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. What an enormous honor to look out at the beautiful and most righteous class of 2018 at Dominican College. We just heard the bestowal of some honorary degrees, but there was something that touched my soul and my heart from the very beginning. Ms. St. Francis and her family did something that made a sports guy feel right at home. Your family, could you ask them to stand up for me? Would you please stand? Now, not only are they a beautiful and wonderful looking family, but to a commencement, they brought whistles and an air horn. Let's hear it. Now, I feel like I'm at home. If the administration wanted somebody from the world of sports, consider how far deep they had to dig to come up with me. <laughs> Eli Manning, out of season. Aaron Judge, out of town, Kansas City road trip. <laughs> Kirstops Porzingis, the white unicorn out of the country rehabbing an ACL, not in Latvia, but in Spain, smart guy. <laughs> we'll be calling you down later. So you got me. And right away, I have a request. I know you've taken all the tests and all the pop quizzes and written all the papers and opened all the blue books, but if you would indulge me, beautiful and righteous class of 2018, a request from your commencement speaker humbly offered to you. Will you accept? Wow, I thought I was talking to Chargers. Will you accept? Raise your right hand as high as you can. Now raise it a little higher. Why didn't you do it the first time? Why didn't you do it the first time? You can put them down. 
I'll come back to that later. 30 years ago, I sat where you sit. Wow. 30 years ago, I became a teacher. And then I stopped doing anything of any redeeming social value, and I made my way to being on television. <laughs> and so, in my time at ESPN, I do five things. I cover college football, I cover golf, I cover tennis, I cover the NBA, and I tell stories. And I want to tell two stories to you today. And they have the same themes. And both of those themes have to do with your P's and your Q's. You ever heard that term, mind your P's and Q's? No one really has any idea what it means, do they? Other than be on your best behavior. But I'm going to suggest a meaning to you guys right here today, if you would. Your P is your place in the world and your purpose in your life. And your Q that's your question. So I'm going to start with one of the first stories I ever had the opportunity to tell. Not as a sports reporter, but as a news reporter. Something that our first honorary degree recipient can likely relate to as a nurse. We spent 24 hours in a neonatal intensive care unit when I worked at a news station in Portland, Oregon to see what that might be like. What it was like was tough. In that time, there was a two-month-old baby boy, an infant, who had never left the hospital. He was born with a heart defect. And in the 24 hours that we were there, his life ended. We never talked to the mother or father. We never photographed the baby in life or in passing. Yet every doctor and nurse we talked to that day wanted solely to talk about the mother and father and family of this little boy. Why? Because they wanted that child to find his place in the world. So they made a series of decisions. They accepted that there was a very strong chance the miracle would not happen and reprieve would not come. So they decided, with the hospital's cooperation, to try to give their little boy a series of simple experiences. They brought a puppy into the NICU so that his hand could feel the fur of a dog. They had somebody come in with a guitar so that the baby could hear music. And then they took that baby off of every tube, brought him outside so that the little boy could feel sun on his face and wind across his skin. He came back in, and they put a little bit of ice cream on the tip of his lips and his tongue so that he could find his place in this world and know something more than the inside of a hospital room. You know what? You get to experience those things every single day as you find your place in the world. So keep your capacity for wonder and appreciation over the wind and the light and the sun and the taste and the sound that surrounds you as you make your life. The second story is one that I know some of you already know and that has already been alluded to and was probably described here a year ago in the Veritas Medals presentation. And that's Wells Crowther's story. Wells found his way in the world. 
Upper Nyack, New York, not very far from here. Strong student in high school, athlete, went to Boston College, volunteer firefighter, because that's what his dad did. Graduated from college and thought he had hit the lottery. Got a job in the city, 104th floor of the South Tower of the World Trade Center. And that's where he sat at his desk when Flight 175 with 10,000 gallons of fuel slammed into the south facade, the second tower to be hit. He made his way down the only functional stairwell in the building, and he came across the 78th floor sky lobby. This is not for our graduates, but for everyone else here. If you ever set foot in the World Trade Center, raise your hand. So for a moment, those who have, Picture what that building was like, what its lobby was like, what the windows were like. 78 floors high, Wells comes into the Sky Lobby, where there are hundreds of people waiting to transfer from express elevators to locals going on up to begin their work day. He finds an unimaginable scene of death and suffering. People who one moment before were having a conversation, and one moment later, when at the last second, the left wing of 175 dipped and exploded through the south-facing wall of the 78th floor sky lobby. Hundreds had died there. And there were others whose lives were in the balance. And rather than continue down the stairs, Crowther went in to the smoke and the fire shooting out of the elevator shafts and led a group of people to safety, carrying one woman across his back as he did so. He got down to the 61st floor. He set the woman down. He said to the other two people that he was leading, the only sentence they ever heard him say, I'm going back up. And he did. Back to 78. And he led a second group down. And here's the ultimate point of my story. He made it down to the lobby, the ground floor, 75 feet away in any direction, 25 steps to the rest of his life. And what did he do? He turned the other direction and went to the command post set up by the FDNY to try to help. And when the tower collapsed, his remains were found surrounded by members of the FDNY, the only civilian found in that area. You are about to take a walk. To do what? To feel the sun and the wind and hear the music. To meet a lover and have a child. To grow old. To receive and to give. All the things when you walk up and walk past that you will walk toward. All of them in your hands right now. Raise your right hand as high as you can. And do this for yourselves and for everybody else. Don't just reach up. Reach out to touch, to teach, to inspire to give, to grasp, hands down. Wells Crowther 
made that walk and learned that lesson and built that legacy in the same way that you have because he received the love that his family poured into him. How do I know it? How do I know it? Because his mother is here right now to see you. Allison Crowther, wherever you are, stand up. In the front row, right there, in case you don't see her. Why did she come here today? To join the chorus of families and loved ones that acknowledge what you have in your hands. The power to serve others. So in your own mind, right now, in the upper bowl, in the rows behind us, Take a second and think of all the love and time and energy that's been poured into you so you can make this walk in service of what? The perfect collegiate mascot name. To charge. Onward. Upward. Forward. Can I get an air horn and a whistle, please? <laughs> Beautiful and righteous class of 2018, I got one last favor for you. Stand for me. Light, love, taste. Make this walk today and know where it leads. Thank you. This time it is my pleasure to announce and to invite forward the recipients of the three memorial awards by which the college, college recognizes special academic accomplishments. If you are following the proceedings in your program, you will notice that we present the names of these honorees in inverted order, reading from the bottom of the page to the top. The Sister Michelle Nugent's Award for achievement in the study of the general education curriculum is presented to Erica Chaffee.
Congratulations. The Sister Natalie Casey Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Erin Catherine Schneider. The Mother Geraldine Forkell Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Victoria Elizabeth Zabo. And now, we come to the presentation of the students who are candidates for degrees and to the conferral of their degrees. The candidates will be, will be presented by groups in the order indicated in your program, with each candidate within that group coming forward individually to receive the symbolic presentation of the degree from the president, from the president of the college, Sister Mary Eileen O'Brien. After all of the candidates have been presented, the degrees will be conferred by the chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Kenneth R. Marks, so that every individual student's name can be clearly heard as it is called. We ask you to withhold your applause until all the students in each group have received their degrees. At that point, applause will be very much in order. Joffrey Michael Abraham. Milagros Marina Abreu. Letitia Ama Serwa Agapyong. Karina Almonte. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Amin. John Peter Amin. Andrew Anderson. Alexa Roma Arlequin. Janet Sunil Babu. <laughs> Rocio Beltre. <laughs> K. 
Kenneth Bentons. Tara Elizabeth Bordenov. Allison Sidra Boyce. Renee Esther Briggs. Farouk Brima. <laughs> Stephanie M. Brosnan. <laughs> Christina Marie Burgos. Lila Bottery. Aileen Teresa Burke. Doretta Lamar Butler. Candice Brianne Carballo. Nursia Y. Carmona. Cassandra Wanda Castro. Elijah Alejandro Castro. Chelsea Monet Sherry. <laughs> Natalia Chugivskaya. <laughs> Rosala Monica Gamello Simigala. Isaiah F. Claxton. Amanda Joy Carreri. Dimitri Crevacor. Carolina Cruz. Natalie Ann Cruz. Zoe Nicole Cruz. Marina Laquandra Dantzler. Brianna Cecilia Delgado. Tristan Robert DeRosa. Cesar Velasco Domingo. Kira Duran. Cassandra Denise Edwards.
Jordan Nicole Edwards. Julian Dean Edwards. Allison Ann Eckert. Venus Champagne Ingram. Karen Espinel. Shay Ferretti. Victoria Ficacillo. Kiana Florentino. Catherine Flores. Darvin Francois. Catherine Garcia. La Dream Shade Garcia. Matthew John Golabek. Nicole Christine Gorman. Jalyn Nairi Graham. <laughs> Kenneth Marquise Grant. <laughs> Jason Evander Gray. Jenna Marie Gray. Christine Sarah Gribben. Nicholas Joseph Grunsky. Roxanne Yvonne Halo. Christopher John Hegan. Luis Leonardo Hernandez. Nicole Alexis Hilton. Abigail Jaquet. Maritza Giselle Jean Charles. Tori Jared Japesto. Shereen J. Dawson. Rebecca Beverly Johnson. Elena Marie Ivers.
<laughs> Jensen Jose. <laughs> Timothy Robert King. Shania Lene Kitchen. Gabrielle Marie Liguero. Adam Michael Klein. Sydney Ann Clippel. Okay. Ashley Kosowicz. Anthony Krasniski. Lauren Lodzinski. <laughs> Henning Allen Landren. <laughs> Julianne Lapi. Michael Charles Lehman. Joseph Anthony Libio. Darcel Lindor. Tara. Lisewski Christine Marie Lopez Erica Natalie Lopez Andrew Francis Marr. Gashawn Maliver. Gabrielle Lynn Marable. Caitlin Marie Masterson, cum laude. Mecca Matthew. Kiara Carmel McCullough. Daniel Edward McLaughlin, Jr., magna cum laude. Manuel Mahena. Mark Edward Ayu Mania. Courtney Rosemary Mele Moran.
Alexa Naomi Miller. Caitlin Elizabeth Montero. Tristan Rafael Morales. Cara Brianna Moran. Deanna Moosen. Joanna Rose Napolitano. Julie Samantha Needleman. Olivia Wen. Dylan Nelson Olivesenda. Kelsey Ann Ordonez. Christina Marie Ortega. Tony Alberto Ortega, cum laude. Aaron Mona Owens. Asia Susan Paez. Alexander Ryan Papalombros. Julie Catherine Poloski. Deborah Michelle Pellegrin. Jillian Ann Pangi. Essence Jayla Price. Rebecca B. Rivario. Craigan Gallagher Rosala, cum laude. Jillian Alana Regan. Stephanie Kristen Reyes. Karina Marie Rios. Michaela Sophia Rispoli, cum laude. Christian Michael Rivera. Jalen Kairari Rogers. Faith Delilah Rosado. Nirovalex Ruiz.
Stephen Brian Samuels. Matthew Lawrence Sandelier. Jonathan Connor Sannon. Thank you. Aaron Catherine Snyder, magna cum laude. Christopher Douglas Schuetz. Laura Ann Skoto. Philip James Shields. Elisa Natalie Silverstein. Nicole Smith, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Strickland, magna cum laude. Margaret Ann Sullivan. Dallas Crystal Sweeney. Carrie Ann Talkin. Miriam E. Taylor. Wendoli Tejada, cum laude. Talia Michelle Vaughn. Marquise Tyler Vaughn. Jessica Sulea Vega Tapia, summa cum laude. Alicia Joy Velez. Brianna Marie Vela. Ariana Trombone. Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Frank Anthony Bestone III. Thomas John Bergman. Marco U. Flores. Victoria Jelinek, magna cum laude. Aaron Madden. Okay. 
Najibi Osario. Danaya Naray Elaine Rose. Kevin Michael Sheeman. Matthew David Snow, magna cum laude. Stephanie Zapata, cum laude. The following students um, are Bachelor of Science in Biology. Rickel Christopher Balia. Linda Ann Marie Dantico. Amber Ruth Lee. Ariana Medina. Nasia Lee Rodriguez. Danielle Cristobal's cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Agankaro Ajahili, magna cum laude. Kevin Henry Bloomer. Victoria Marley Brooks. Susan Leslie Champetaz. <laughs> Stephanie Cyprian. <laughs> Anthony Delia. Leslie Duran. <laughs> Brian Joseph Costa Estevez. <laughs> Michael Patrick Flynn. Samuel Jacob George. Brianne Isarella Gerber. Jennifer Gribben, cum laude. Fernando Maximino Gutierrez Perez. Paul Vincent Holder. Ina Kerner Magnum Cum Laude. Kim Stephanie Kerner, magna cum laude. Alexis Kugler. Ha 
Albert Waldheim Kugowe. Jessica Alyssa Lapala. Jalen Michael Lopez. Tyler James Malia. Sam C. Apinagaro. Fernando Ignacio Perez Cervantes. Joseph Leonard Piccini. Kenneth Christopher Platt. Nathaniel Michael Popio. Bhavani Parvina Samnarain. Deborah Lalita Shrikasan. Angelina Urbanski. John Anthony Haltner. Nicholas Gerard White. Ryan Thomas Wiberly. Brendan Michael Woodruff. <laughs> Following students, Bachelor of Science in Education. Adriani Asensio. <laughs> Rosita Shalita Kant. Elise Anna Karasik. Dega Samanska Cum Laude. <laughs> Following students, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tony. Tony Sue Ahern. Nikita Alexis Bacchus. Janelle Benag. Chelsea Melissa Beach. Stacy Ann Bins. Lena Nicole Buchanan. Nicole Elizabeth Berger. Susanna Camillo. Alex Peter Carrillo.
Sandra H. Shaheen, cum laude. Katura Cherry. Erica Chiappi, magna cum laude. Stanley Coffey. Patricia Cook. Christy Marie Curran. Natalie Joy DeLeon. Chelsea Tiana Crawford. Priscilla Delgado. <laughs> Allison Nicole Dorfman, cum laude. <laughs> Courtney E. Durfee, magna cum laude. Christopher Juan Feliciano. Dana Fisher. Natalie Flor Pauline Floris Feliciano. Taylor Mary Flynn. Denzel Francois. Vanessa Maria Garcia Hurtado. Tina George. Tyrone Dondre Jabouin. Justine Eliza Jacobson. Reginald Jemison. Shoba Anna Curian. Lauren Randy Loeb. Lucretia Hope. Blackmore Lot. <laughs> Kelly Lynch. <laughs> Edwina Emanuela Mark. <laughs> Samantha Miller. Francis Henry Murphy. Dominic Gabriel Nemesty.
Michelle Monaco, cum laude. Gabrielle A. Palladino, magna cum laude. Kelly Nicole Young. Tatiana Trinidad. Christina Marie Roman. Danielle Porvis. Alexandra Boguslawa Pogon. Caitlin Ann Quirk Magna Cum Laude. Kelvin Frederick Resurrecion. Nicholas Raymond Ruggiero, cum laude. Rachel Lauren Toffler. Alyssa Melada Celes Velde. Levin Borghese. Yeah. Igor Van Steen. <laughs> Rebecca Joy Visengardi. Jinsi Yohanan. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Wank. <laughs> Chloe Yu. Danique Antonio Wigan. Kaniz Fatima Isfahani. Princey A. Jacob. Students are receiving their degree in Bachelor of Social Work. Tania Mia Asensio. Berlin Borno. Erica Marie Desch. Caitlin Marie Dowling. Jenny Jean Charles. Stacy Brianna Kennedy.
Amanda Jane Bagnoda. Desait Tillahun Sayoum. Patricia Julian Simmons. The following students are receiving the honors degree of Bachelor of Arts. Michelle Christina Migliaccio. Tariq M. Stowe, cum laude. Victoria Elizabeth Zabo, magna cum laude. Alexa Marie Trembone. Following students are receiving their Bachelor of Science, Master of Science degree in Occupational Therapy. Jennifer Lynn Herman. Vanessa Arias. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Bowersax. Michelle Lynn Castellano. Leanne Serbone, graduate honors. Jessica Rose Serbone. Janelle Ray Cologne. <laughs> Linda Jean Considine. Bryn Colleen Darpino. Stephanie Marie Zibolt.
Bethany Faith DePaulo Milos. Amanda Fortano. Natalia Fidelis. Gina Marie Labou. Nicole Ann Marshall. Brianna Kilana Marsich. Ashley Marie Misery. Shannon Marie Miller. Alexandra Yvette Moretta. Cassandra Marie Palumo. Delmaz Shalpurush. Caitlin Margaret Taylor. Michelle Olda Thomas. Administration, Megan Alexandra Bryant. The following students are receiving the degree Master of Science in Education. Anne Marie Copen, Graduate Honors. Danielle Judith DeLuca, Graduate Honors. Erica Carla DeSilvio, Graduate Honors. Jamil Antonio Escobar, Graduate Honors. Kenneth Bernard Kirshner, Graduate Honors. Kristen Lee Levy, Graduate Honors. Dustin Irwin Mullen, Graduate Honors. Catherine Ann O'Leary, graduating Masters of Science and Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. <laughs> Gloria Athena Scott. Marissa Ann Sitko, graduate honors.
Caitlin Ann Smith. Kelly Patricia Smith, Graduate Honors. Anthony Gerald Trevino, Graduate Honors. Bryson Randolph Van Eck, Graduate Honors. Atira Carla Wood. The following students are receiving their Master of Science in Nursing. Minnie Jacko. Graduate Honors, Princey Samuel Daniel, Graduate Honors. Annie Joseph George, Graduate Honors. Sonia James, Graduate Honors. Lindsay Joseph, Graduate Honors. Lolita Joseph, Graduate Honors. Gabriella Krebs, Graduate Honors. Claudia Marcelli, Graduate Honors. Jincy Manish Matthew, Graduate Honors. Lydia Dufus, Graduate Honors. Rekha Nevin Matthew, Graduate Honors. Rekha Matthew, Graduate Honors. Ramia Matthews, Graduate Honors. Rebecca Sajee Poten, Graduate Honors. Geraldine M. Sweeney, Graduate Honors. Albinol Thomas, Graduate Honors. Benita Shaji Varghese, Graduate Honors. Jennifer J. Vesconez, Graduate Honors. Nisha Zachariah, Graduate Honors. The following students are receiving their doctorate in nursing practice. Sanju Parithiu Itan, Graduate Honors.
Anne Tanay Merrill, graduate honors. Marlene St. Hilary Rosario, graduate honors. Gloria Nemo, graduate honors. The following students are receiving the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy. David John Guerrero Acup. Ralph Giambo Aviento. Kareem Mohammed Ahmed. Hosan Alden Basuni Al Basuni. Des Desiree Deuna Alejandro. Janine Nicole Alfaro. Jonathan Villaluna Alfaro. Abimelech De La Cruz Anola. Monir El Sayed Ali Mohammed Arnos. Mohammed Hani Tahir Atta. Angel Youssef Bakum. Neoli Ilag Belgel. Dino Calbayar Bello. Victoria Gorillo Buer. Bourbon. Bourbon Nelson De La Cruz Bruel. Edison Bautista Cruz. Alona Belusan De La Cruz. Maravik Dillion Raffer. Salid Sayed. Mina Abraham. Fadi Farad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Marion Gurgis. <laughs> Anne Lorraine Viola Geronimo. Suchi BJ Gosalia. Yes. 
Ahmed Hassanin. Bernadette Audencia Hatamosa. Desiree Villanueva Hernandez. Shima Mohammed Hashem. Menatala Mohammed Ibrahim. John Michael Galban Javier. Ibrahim Mohammed. Mahmoud Dayab Abdallahim Mohammed. Shital Ashok Khadzar. Nestor Amon Laysa. Richie Garcia Lim. Rashmina Musani. Patience Grace Nduka Akugo. Agatha Rose Despi Negre. Nina Reloj Neron. Milagros Hernandez Patia. Gladina Castro Risuelo. April Marie Rabosa Santayana. Catherine Cano Seria Jaka. Dhruv Amrish Kumar Shah. Yesha Lalichandra Shah. Adele Shalabi. Maria Graciel Regis Seabug. Ryan Mateo Seabug. Roman Rodriguez Solano. Annabelle Ramos Tunga. Cheryl Viegas Ureyes. Disha Jatin Bin. And Ryan Jason King.
Okay. Let me also uh, offer my con uh, congratulations to the graduates, and the parents, and friends, and family of everyone. And also, how about a shout out to uh, all your teachers who took time out of the day to be here. After shaking uh, several hundred hands, maybe one of your newly anointed doctor of physical therapy could work on my... Um, again, congratulations, and uh, uh, you have a unique uh, uh, privilege today that many uh, graduating classes leaving their commencement does not have, and that is that you're going to remember your commencement speaker for a long, long time. So how about some whistles and horns for Tom Rinaldi? So uh, let me uh, do one last, uh, uh, one last matter here that uh, makes everything official. Um, so on behalf of the trustees of Dominican College of Blauvelt, by virtue of the authority vested in them by law and on recommendation of the faculty, I now formally confer upon the candidates gathered here today and upon the other members of the class of 2018 unable to join us, the degrees that they work so diligently to earn. There is one more symbolic action that all the students are now eligible to perform. It is a widespread tradition at college commencement ceremonies that students are expected to wear their mortarboard tassels on the right side prior to conferring of the degree. That's assuming you know where the right sign is. Uh, and then wear them on the left side thereafter. All the degrees having now been conferred, ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2018, you are now officially eligible to move your tassels from right to left. Thank you again. We come now to the conclusion of our ceremony. I'll ask you now to rise for the benediction to be offered by Sister Michaela Connolly Opie, prioress of the Dominican Sisters of Blauvelt, and then to remain standing for the Dominican College alma mater, which will be led by Katie Anderson, director of the New Student and Transition Center. Graduates of 2018, on this day and in all your days ahead, may the Spirit of God accompany you and encourage you to share the truth with power and love. May you be blessed with courage to work for justice and advocate for those most in need. May you be blessed with vision to see all of creation with the eyes of God. May you be blessed with knowledge to discern God's will. May you be blessed with an awareness of God's presence and activity in your life. May you be blessed with the wisdom of God, and may that wisdom fill your minds and inform your thinking. May God's wisdom accompany you always and bring you peace. Amen.
are proud that we are here. You have cared and taught and loved us. You have helped us to increase in our wisdom and our knowledge, in our search for truth and peace. May the light of your high standards guide our path as years go by. We are grateful, Dominican College, as we raise our voices high. Our college is Dominican. We will sing it loud and clear. Our college is Dominican. We are proud that we are here. Now we pledge our lives in service so our talents we might give. Meet the challenge yet before us that injustice all might live. May the light of your high standards guide our path as the years go by. We are grateful, Dominican College. proud that we are Thank you. 